Hi everyone, Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Monday video report. Coming up in just a moment, a breakdown of Dallas and L.A., your Game 1 pick, plus a reminder about that money-saving discount coupon. If you didn't take advantage of it yesterday, it expires today. Please do so. Listen, I'm telling you to save money. You might as well do it. You know what I mean? Uh, also talk about a couple of hot handicappers and have big plays. As for yesterday's playoff action, uh, I couldn't have been more wrong with my play on Oklahoma City in the first half against... Memphis, I mean, my God, the Thunder absolutely refused to play any defense. That is certain. Uh, it doesn't matter whether Kendrick Perkins is in the lineup or not. They just refused to play defense. And what a pathetic performance by them yesterday. And, of course, listen, you know, total transparency here. I always tell you the truth from the get-go. Uh, it was a 15-dime play, which matched my biggest play of the past two years, and it was a loser. But then again, listen, I've got to be honest, you know, 10-2-1 best bet run the past 13 days, including that loser, and those 15 dime plays, I just cashed one in on Friday night with uh, Memphis in game number six against San Antonio. See that? I shouldn't have won against my Grizzlies. They had been so good to me in the first round of the playoffs. And I also cashed in, of course, last Monday night with a 15 dime play with Dallas over Portland in game number uh, five of that series. So those 15 dime uh, maximum wager plays are still over the past two years 17 7 and 1 including 12 5 and 1 this year alone so not exactly I can cry over spilled milk here you know what I mean as for the Boston Miami game I'll tell you what um, as I told you yesterday you know I gave you a free pick and I told you I thought maybe the Celtics could cover the number and I guess there's two ways of looking at that ball game I mean the Celtics came out they were definitely out of sync uh, and I told you yesterday in the video that sometimes you find, especially with veteran-oriented teams, you know, after the lengthy layoff, which they say helps them with the rest and recuperation, sometimes it leaves them a little tarnished and rusty, and I think that showed. And it wasn't necessarily a lethargic effort in the first half, but the Celtics definitely weren't playing with the normal team chemistry, and it certainly hurt that Rajon Rondo was limited, I think, to eight first-half minutes because of foul trouble. But then you look at that game. Paul Pierce gets ejected, right? Uh, Rajon Rondo has a miserable game. Uh, James Jones comes out of nowhere to have a monster career-high effort. And Dwayne Wade, after averaging about 12.5 points a game against the Celtics last year, or through the first four regular season meetings, is unconscious yesterday. And despite all that, the Heat, laying 5.5 to 6 points, only win by 9. What does that tell you? I mean, Miami had problems closing out against Philadelphia in round one. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this series plays out. Of course, I have a five-dime series play on the Celtics in this one. Am I worried? No. You know, they're at plus money. And again, I only have to win one game of the final three in Miami for this series play to really turn the odds in my favor. So, with that being said, uh, before I get to uh, anything further, let me give you that money-saving discount coupon code. Uh, you enter, when prompted in your shopping cart, uh, playoff 25. Playoff 25. No space between the word playoff and the number 25. If you didn't take advantage of that coupon yesterday, you can use it today. Playoff 25. You will save 25% off your total purchase. Now, this is different than a dollars off coupon. And, you know, I give you tons of those as well. And, you know, this is the only place you can get these money-saving discount coupons. I try to give them to you at least a couple of times a week, maybe probably even more throughout the summer. It's my money. I can give it away. I'm the general manager of the damn site. Uh, and, again, how you use this coupon, the 25% discount coupon, it's advantageous for you to make all of your purchases at one time, put them in the shopping cart, and then take 25% off your total price. You can buy individual handicappers, me, anybody else, doesn't matter. Put two plays, put Anthony Red's plays and Chris Jordan's plays in your shopping cart, right? You can then go out and buy um, Derek Mancini, who, congratulations, hit his uh, uh, second biggest NBA play yesterday, by the way, FYI, with the Miami Heat, a 50-dimer. Um, only the second of his career, in fact. Um, you could buy his 30-day package, for example, and put that in your shopping cart as well. Whatever you put in your shopping cart, you get 25% off the total purchase price. That's why this coupon is so cool. But you got to make all your purchases at one time. Again, if you didn't use it yesterday, you can use it today. And the discount coupon code, again, is PLAYOFF25, and it expires uh, tonight. A um, couple of hot handicappers. Anthony Red, 3-0 sweep yesterday in the NBA. Number one handicapper at this site uh, the last two years in terms of uh, playoff profit. Uh, just looking here at my notes, uh, 476 dimes. Uh, six 25-dime releases tonight. Two of them on your NBA signs. 
okay? Among those six plays, the others are uh, in baseball. Um, these are, you know, Anthony does a lot of what you call trifectas. Three plays he releases. He's 67, 41, and 2 the last 37 times he's released a trifecta. So the plays, broken down separately, have gone 67, 41, and 2, and tonight he has two trifectas in essence with six selections, all of them 25 dime plays. You might want to check that out. He's hot. Um, Sean Michaels. Um, 10 and 5 last year in the playoffs, uh, 205 dimes. Second NBA play of the season goes tonight, and it's the second ever 50 dime NBA side selection of his career. It's on your first game between Chicago and Atlanta. He hit his only other one back on February 17th. It was Dallas laying two at Phoenix. Mavericks won by six. Um, Sean is a guy, you know. <laughs> He always tells me, you know, he doesn't give a damn about the regular season in the NBA. He thinks every game's a joke. He thinks every game comes down to the final two minutes. Uh, it does seemingly seem that way, doesn't it? And uh, just refuses to look at the NBA and could care less about it in the regular season. Obviously, 10-5 and five in the playoffs last year. One NBA play this year. He won it. This is his time. He's got a big play going tonight. Let's talk about the Mavericks game tonight. Mavs getting six points. I'm kind of surprised they're not getting a couple more here, considering the way the Lakers uh, hammered them in the final two regular season meetings after Dallas won the first game. Um, in the first rematch after the Lakers lost, I always look at that game and one that, you know, Tyson Chandler was just playing his third game back after missing a couple of games, I think three games because of an ankle injury. And prior to getting injured, he was playing phenomenal ball when the Mavs went on that, what was it, a 17-1 and streak, you know. So uh, the other thing, you know, Dirk Nowitzki, of course, had good games throughout. But, you know, Jason Terry, 22 points in the lone win this season, hitting 9 of 15 from the field. But in the two losses, he averaged 9 points and hit only 8 of 25 shots. Um, you know, Lakers have the size. We know that, right? With Gasol, with Bynum, with Odom. Um, that's why the Mavericks went out and got Brendan Haywood last year. That's why they went out and got Tyson Chandler last year. They are going to need those two guys to play effectively along with Dirk, who, you know, can Gasol match up with Dirk, especially the way Nowitzki's been playing here lately. In the backcourt, of course, the Lakers have a huge advantage. There's nobody that's going to stop Kobe. But then again, they have a deficiency in the backcourt because you've got Steve Blake and Derek Fisher who can be abused if Jason Terry is playing well, if Jason Kidd still has his shot that was so prevalent and so hot in the first few games of the uh, series against Portland. Um, you know, would I take Dallas in the series as a huge ro uh, huge dog, a plus 300? No. I think the Lakers with the home court advantage with Kobe, you know, it's hard to bet against Kobe in any series. So I think the Mavericks uh, lose the series, but I like them a little bit in game number one. Would I put my own money on it? No. But you wanted a free pick, and I'm telling you my opinion. I think Mavericks are the play. Hey, best of luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on Tuesday.